Users often face a situation of their computer having just one local disk. It can cause certain inconveniences and difficulties. For example, you can lose important data when reinstalling your operating system or when your operating system is damaged. That's why it's recommended to divide a disk into two more partitions. Leave one partition for the operating system and turn the other into a file storage. In this case, important data remains intact even if you reinstall your Windows. So here is what you should do before you partition a hard disk. If you are going to break it into more than four partitions, start with finding out what method of storing data your disk uses – MBR or GPT. That's because MBR lets you create no more than four partitions, while GPT has an unlimited number of partitions which only depends on the operating system. You can watch one of our videos to learn more about finding out uh, what your data storage type is. Find the link in the description. To partition a hard disk, go to Disk Management. To do it, right-click on this PC and select Manage in the menu. If you don't have this PC icon on your desktop, you can watch one of our videos to see how to add it. Find the link in the description as usual. Or you can do it in the Explorer window by clicking on the tab Computer and selecting Manage. Any of these actions will open the Computer Management window and in the left side panel you should choose Disk Management. You can also start disk management by right-clicking on the Start menu and selecting it from the list. In the window that opens, you'll see the list of all disks and all available partitions. As you can see, I've got one system disk, which I'm going to divide into two parts. Right-click on it and select Shrink Volume, and the system will check it uh, to determine the space available for shrinking. Then you'll see a window with the information on the disk size, and this is where you can select how large your future disk will be. For example, if you have a hard disk of 1 terabyte with 800 gigabytes occupied, you want to be able to create partitions of 500 gigabytes each. Window Disk Management can't shrink the volume beyond the point where any unmovable files are located. That's why I can't extend the future volume more than it is allowed by the system, and even if I enter a larger size, the shrink button will be inactive. So, it's better if you don't have any files saved on the disk, though it's not always the way it is. In my case, I have to partition the system disk, which contains certain data. Now click on the Shrink button to start the process. After that, a new partition containing unallocated space will appear in the disk. To do it, uh, right-click on the space and select New Simple Volume. Next, assign the drive letter. Next, choose File System, Cluster Size, give Volume Label, and select Format Type, then click Next and Finish. When the process is over, the volume will be open in the new window. That's all, a new volume has been created, and that's the end of the partition process. As a result, we have the system disk and another disk in this system. Sometimes you may need to partition a USB drive or a micro SD card. When doing it, there can be some problems. In fact, uh, until Windows 10 Anniversary Update, users could not enjoy all functions of the disk management service to create partitions in USB drives or SD cards. They had to use the command prompt, and even so, all they could get in the end was a single partition because Windows did not support several partitions in USB drives and SD cards. However, both problems were fixed in the Creators Update. Now I'll show you how to partition a USB drive with the disk management service in Windows 10. It's very similar to partitioning a hard disk. To start, insert the drive into a USB port and open Disk Management. Select the necessary disk, delete all data and format it to make partitions more reliable. If there is any important data, backup it to another disk first. Select the drive, shrink volume and set the partition size. If there is any data on the USB drive, the system will not let you create a second partition larger than the free space area, as in the case with the hard disk. That's why it's better to format it and then click Shrink. Then you will see the second partition containing some unallocated space. Let's create a simple volume there. Don't change anything. Assign the drive letter. At the formatting stage, select NTFS file system and uncheck the Quick Format box. When the formatting process is over, the second partition should appear in the Explorer. Using disk management is not the only way to partition a USB drive or hard disk. You can also do it with a command prompt using disk part command. 
Launch the command prompt as administrator and type the commands. Disk part, list volume. This command will help you to find the disk to partition. Next, select volume and the disk number. First, find the number of the volume for partitioning and then type the command. Shrink desired equals and give the size of the disk you want to create in megabytes. In my case, that's 3000, which means 3 gigabytes. Then type the command create partition primary. It creates the partition and follow it with format fs equals ntfs quick. This command formats the disk in ntfs. Then assign letter k. This command assigns letter to the disk. I choose to use the letter k. The new disk will appear on the Explorer with the letter we have assigned to it. You can also partition a hard disk with third-party software. I will show you how it's done with the example of IMA Partition Assistant. Run the program, right-click on the necessary disk and select the line Create Partition, then set the size of the future partition and click OK. Then click Apply it and continue. When the process is over, you'll see the message Congratulations, all operations have been completed successfully and the new disk will appear in the Explorer. You can download a free version of IOMA Partition Assistant from the official website by following the link below this video. If the second partition on your USB drive is not shown in the Explorer after you have partitioned the disk in one of the ways I have shown you, connect it to the computer again and run the disk management service again. You'll see two partitions on one USB drive. The second partition will most likely be shown as raw. In this case, try formatting it. And after that, it should open all right.